The New Holland 1090 is here. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We've got new mods today. We've got a brand new slurry spreader. We've also got the new Holland 1090. Oh yeah, I know you guys have been waiting on that. We've also got a new Brussels and laid bucket. We've got a field roller. That thing's pretty sweet. Also have the field creator subsoiler. That is very interesting a fertilizer spreader we've also got some placeable water points so you can put some placeable water points down on your farm you should not be there <laughs> we've got right here the wooden support and storage water standpipe which is a little smaller than i thought and we've got an update to the diesel mod let's check it out first up today we have the zune hammer farmland fix 15. you could find this over in slurry tanks and it is going to be an attachment that you can use on different things right here it is 15 meters 10 miles per hour all is normal the issue here is it's almost five thousand dollars more than the glide fix 15 which is pretty much the exact same thing no customization options at all so don't worry about customizing it and of course you could put it on the back of different things such as the zune hammer that we've got right here again slurry spreader drag hose style you guys know what's up oh uh, yeah up next we have the new holland 11090 we get it in the old new holland style as well as the fiat agri style kind of mimicking one of the mods we had in farming simulator 17 let's check this out this is going to be in small tractors and again depending on how many mods you have installed may take you all to get there it's going to be over by the 8340 mod that we've got boom right here design color we could go new holland blue new holland red and fiat agri main color we do the same thing new holland blue new holland red and fiat agri so you can have a red new holland blue new holland or you can get the fiat fiat agri kind of style which i do really like in configuration we have standard rear mud guards fenders 500 kilogram front weight weight with rear mud guards and weight with fenders there you go that's a pretty cool look right there design we have the new holland tradition or the new holland red or the fiat agri so depending on what you change it up to what colors you can put different stickers on here to say hey it's this or it's not this or it's this other one it's really cool engine setups we have the 11090 which has 110 horsepower and we have the 13090 which has 130 horsepower wheel setups we have standards wide tires rear twin wheels narrow tires narrow twin wheels and narrow profile very very neat i think these may be my favorite right here of course you guys know that i like a rear narrow tire i just think these cool narrow twins on the back that's a good looking tractor right there unfortunately it's not as cheap as it was in 17 this is ninety four thousand seven hundred fifty dollars completely decked out uh except maybe a little bit more for this version right here so just know that next up we have the brussels and laid l95 so we've got two different versions of these it's just the orange part in the front boom let's bump in you're gonna find this in front loaders and you're gonna find it with the brussels and laid stuff right here pow main color change this whatever color you would like come standard with the star color which i really like or you can get the brussels and laid color right here which is kind of like a almost an od green but not quite attacher type we have front loader and telehandler so you can use this for either one however it only has a capacity of 1830 liters so again know that ahead of time if you are going to be changing up the color it is going to be completely free so 2480 dollars will get you this entire package next up we have the edge field roller this right here will take any field that you've got such as fields behind us and it will delete them back to the original state which is really really cool let's bump in let's check this out where are you gonna find this you're gonna find this in miscellaneous it's gonna be right here beside the classic roller that we got last week main color we could do any color you would like it does come with some suggested colors right here uh so if you guys want to do of course we have a chrome which everybody really likes gold hover anything you want doesn't matter design color this is going to be your roller so you could do a 
really, really interesting blue right there. Holy cow. Uh, let's do something we can see. There we go. White will work. Design, we have light and pro. The only thing I can tell, the only difference is it takes the, uh, the hard shape of the roll and kind of smooths out the ends a little bit. Eh, cool nonetheless. We have three different configurations here. We have a three meter, a four meter, and a six meter configuration. So if you've got a lot of land that you need to roll, do this. Now, I will tell you this, depending on how much space you've got, you could either use this or do what I do and just come in here and go into painting and paint it whatever color you want. That is what I do, but hey, this is still cool nonetheless. Next up, we have the AgriSim Combi Plow Field Creator. Now, the modder has some words of wisdom for you. It says, this subsoiler creates new fields or extends them. This mod does not support the helper function, however. Tip, therefore, you should only rent this machine and return it after work because the purchase price is just as high as the original, but the original supports the workers or the helpers. So do keep that in mind if you are going to be using this. I find it interesting that it's like that. However, it, it just kind of is what it is. Let's pop in. I'm gonna turn on the help window and we're gonna see exactly what we could do here. So we can allow create fields or limit to fields. So we could turn that on or off. However, Hire helper is not an option. So again, do keep that in mind. Where are you gonna find this? Well, you're gonna find this in tools and in subsoilers. And it's gonna be right beside the original. Same price and everything. It's exactly the same. However, you just can't use a worker. No customization options either. So there you go. That's the AgriSim Culti Plow Field Creator. Next up on the list, we have the Amazon ZAX 1402 Perfect. This is a fertilizer spreader. We're going to go check it out and you're going to find it in fertilizer technology. Boom, right here. ZAX 1402 will do solid fertilizer and lime. It costs $9,800, or $9 not $1,980. It is an 18 meter working width, 12 miles per hour and a capacity of 1,750 liters. Nothing else can be changed about this. Do keep that in mind. And then of course, cover, yes or no. If you choose for the cover option, it's gonna cost you $10,300 for this. It does come with uh, the wheels on the bottom. I'm not sure which colors other than just like a, a stand wheel. There you go right there. Otherwise, the same functions of this are exactly the same as every other solid fertilizer and lime spreader. Next, we got these guys right here, the Water Trigger Decoration Pack. I like these. I really, really, really like these big time. And I'll explain why, because look at this. You can place these anywhere you want. These are placeables. Even this pallet right here, can't move it, but it's a placeable. And the well right here, it's a placeable. These are water triggers. These are so cool. Where are you gonna find these? In placeables, in decoration, and then of course, you just kinda have to go through until you find them. I have way too many placeables installed right now. Here we go. Here they are. Well with triggers, 1,340 bucks. Water container with trigger is $420. And the cistern or the water pallet is $2,048. These are going to be perfect, especially over on Peterville, where there is no water trigger over by the animals. This is going to be great, so I highly recommend this mod right here for anybody who's needing a water trigger. Speaking of water trigger, we've got another one right here. We've got a water spouter spigot, or as it says, the water standpipe. This is really cool. It's exactly the same as those does the exact same thing, but it's in a pipe form. Unlike the other mod, however, this is found in miscellaneous. So if you go into miscellaneous and then mine was almost at the very end, right here beside the edge green silo. Water stand pipe, $1,500. Boom, you can put as many of these down as you would like. There you go. I like this mod. Getting into the updates now, we have the wooden support and storage. Change log 1.0.0.2, mod description bug fixed. So there you go. We have the wooden support, wooden support two, which has a brace, wooden storage small, and wooden storage big, which have the braces on there as well. We have the wooden storage big on the map right here. There's your update for the wooden support and storage. We also have an update to the diesel mod, changelog 1.1. Textures have been adjusted. The objects are now configurable as used. 
with oil patina or factory new, which is more expensive. Memory space was reduced by texture optimization. The mod description version was adjusted for the update 1.4 to version 44, which should improve the performance a bit. Patina is a Latin term meaning thin layer. At least that's what they say, so let's pop in and check it out. Now the, uh, the automatic version that you get is the used container. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, it said used, but it was brand new. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Okay, we fixed it now. So, a used canister will cost you $28. A new one will cost you $33. Diesel barrel. The used barrel will cost you $325. However, the new barrel will be $350. And the large barrel, the used version, will be $600. And the new one, $650. So, what I've got here is I've got the used smaller barrels and the brand new larger barrels so you guys can see the difference there i will say the lighting textures are pretty messed up on the used versions so yeah just know that ahead of time it's pretty messed up you can see there's a huge difference right there that should not be like that but it is what it is. We've got an update to Wilhelmina Forest. Fixed farmland issues that didn't let you buy parts of the land around the map border. Fixed floating markers at the grain cell point. Fixed floating objects around the sawmill. Fix the barn cell point so it works better with trailers unloading grass. Fixed all floating trees. Most were around the grain building. Move trees away from the map border which were stuck in the collision wall and reapply the bushes so they are more spread out and not on the pathways. So, if you guys are playing on Wilhelmina Forest, make sure that you update. We've also got an update to the contractor mod for PC. It added the Portuguese or Brazilian translation. So, if you guys are playing this, also make sure that you update. It is a very interesting mod where you don't use tractors. You, well, you choose people and it's kind of creepy because they just stand there and stare at walls regardless there you go well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you're not here, please subscribe if you have any questions drop those down in the comment section below and let me know which one of these mods is your favorite mine is this right here the new holland 11090 or as i'm using the biggest version of the 130 by the way this says gears just letting you know really cool anyway that is it for today hope you have a great day we will see you later Peace.